Hey guys, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see catches like this, stick around, like and subscribe. Here's what's coming up. Hey everybody, uh, today we're doing something a little different. We are fishing a tilapia buses competition. Now this is a noxious fish, but we're doing it a bit differently today. I've got rid of the clubs, replace them with some rods, and we're going to hit these ponds. We've had approval from the boss to say, hey, come on in. It's within the boundary. Let's go and chase tilapia. You ready? Yeah. Let's hit the nine. The beauty of being out here and the luxury of being out here is I don't like walking. How good is this? We can sit in the cart and I hear there's a fish on the 19th. Or is that the watering hole? So have a look at that float. It's going against the current, which is absolutely perfect. I'm just going to take up a bit of the... There he is. There you go, buddy. That's fine, hooked beautifully in that corner. I'll tell you what, that's the thing with these fish is they can be very lethargic in the morning and as the day warms up, they do get pretty flighty and fighty at the same time. But at the, uh, this time of the day, of course the sun's getting high now, so they are becoming a little bit more active after breakfast. Still a beautiful fish, aren't they? It's a shame that they're a pest. So the gear I'm running here is pretty light. It's the Sienna 2500 FE. I know Anaconda have got the new Sienna's out there, the red and black ones, absolutely gorgeous looking, real, really cool. Uh, and they work so well. Good price point, and I've got the two-piece squidgy one to three kilo rod, so it's a really light little outfit, as you can see. Uh, the float, just standard float, of course, going down to that uh, size four bait keeper. I've got about three foot of leader on. Generally, if you're fishing for bass, particularly in the States, what a lot of guys do is they'll run braid directly to the lure, and when they're working areas like this where there's a lot of lily pads, is they'll just rip through, because that braid needs to cut through those lily pads to get the fish in, particularly those largemouth bass. But for us here chasing tilapia, this would be an ideal outfit. There we go. So we've moved up to the next hole. Have a look at the camera. That net is not going to reach the water, buddy. But have a look at the size of that tilapia. Now that particular fish here, just hanging around those weed beds, absolutely braining that. Now where there's one, in these ponds, there's literally a thousand. That's how many fish there are. We're just going to move from pond to pond, but that's an absolutely magnificent fish and a bloody big one to boot. Look at that. It's a magnificent fish. Whoa! His mouth's out of the water going, who the hell's got me here? Done. Beautiful. Nice to boot. Not a bad one at the same time. And I'll tell you what, if you're keen to get out there and have a crack, these Southeast Queensland waterways are literally littered with them. Another one for the bin. So what I'm doing here is I'm using my spotters and I can cut through the glare in order I can actually see where these fish are. These particular species love the heat. They're a tropical species, right? So throughout areas of Thailand, Hawaii, any of those tropical areas, Malaysia, they are a fantastic food source. But out of here, in Australia, they're not. You, you can't, it's totally illegal to keep them. Unless you're in one of these competitions where you must return them back to the venue and then they're binned and taken away for to, to be disposed of. However, all I'm doing here is cutting through the glare with the sunglasses and laying it out. So I think once that sun gets a bit higher, they'll become more active. Oh, well done, how good's that? So I've got a birdie on the first, an eagle on the second, and four on the third. Nice. Off to the fifth. 
Well, they mightn't be big, but that's okay. Look at that. A little tiny tilapia. Nice. Well, I'm stopping you from getting big, buddy, and taking over the bass stocks. Bloody tree. Oh, oh, oh. This thing's got speed! Off to the 19th! <laughs> yeah, it's quite amazing. This just reminds me of the tropical northern parts of the country where you've got those billabongs. Uh, you'd have a crocodile there, but no, no, not here though, because we are in tilapia country. Even though there's a hundred fish sitting under my float right now, I've soaked this hole enough, tells me they've gone off a bite. Let's head to a different location. Oh, so there we have it. I'll just come underneath you there, little one. There we go. Another spot, another tilapia. You really don't have to travel too far. As long as you've got these little inland waterways, these ponds, these fish are really starting to make an impact in them. Now, can you imagine that you've got your ducks, you've got your native species here, but then you've got those small guppies that come through, you've got your native bass, you've got all these other native Australian fish and these little buggers come through and of course that is why they've been eradicated because that particular species it's just going to shut everything down so it's super important that we catch them super important we don't let them go Yowch. it's a nice fish this one look how shallow he's right in the shallows there this one right in close and i'll tell you what like a barramundi in the far northern tropics particularly in lake awonga mondurin all those sorts of dams where the freshwater impairments get your barrow up there. They get right in close, they sun themselves, just like this fella. Hey, mate. Just clean you up a bit before I pull you up. There we go. A little bit bigger than the last one, but still, not a bad fish. Again, they just really inundate these waterways. I'll take him back and put him in the container. This is Marty Gleason. He runs My Catch Australia and organises these uh, competitions. Hey, Marty. How's it going? Good, mate. Good, thank you. Tell me about this particular competition. What makes it so unique compared to many other comps? It's the biggest uh, tilapia buster competition on the Gold Coast. Um, there's no other that are held in the Rabina area, and tilapia are pretty prolific in the area, and it, it's, uh, we do our best to try and clear them out of the waterways. Mate, they are an invasive species. Obviously, they can take over these waterways from our native yeah. species of fish that we have. Mate, they grow damn quick. Yeah, they do. In, in the space of uh, six months, they can grow up to 20, 30 centimetres. Um, and then older than that, they get all the way up. The biggest one we had today was 41.5 centimetres. So massive size fish and they breed pretty prolifically. Mate, um, the best way to catch a tilapia, I found worms. Is yeah. there anything else that you can put a suggestion out to our viewers? Yeah, I mean, we walked around today, we saw pretty much everyone using every method under the sun. People were using corn, bread, worms. Uh, they were using soft plastics, hard body lures. Um, myself, I find worms probably work the best. Um, unweighted um, but bread is pretty good as well what's the weight on that one there it is 11.998 that's on, what on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what's it now you? it's 16 16 <laughs> marty you're at the helm of this here with my catch australia if people want to check it out with your websites what's the deal yeah so if they just log on to facebook and search my catch australia or go to mycatchaustralia.com.au we've got pictures up there we've got details of it uh, we plan to run this event probably early next year around march april um, so yeah, if everyone could get on board, that'd be fantastic. It's a great cause. Absolutely. And of course, there are other competitions similar uh, being held because this species is moving further up the Queensland right. coast, northern New South Wales as well. Yeah, Brisbane has about uh, three competitions on every year, once a year. Um, Mackay, I know, Mackay Council have started doing competitions and so have Townsville. So yeah. they're getting quite far up north. Yeah. And that's not a cool thing because now we're entering other waterways where, the, of course, the, that beautiful sport fish of Australia, the barramundi, has been held. So we don't want them to get up there, get out there, eradicate them. And of course, the main thing is understand your local rules and regulations. Check them out about the tilapia. That's the Mozambique mouth brooding fish. Good on you, mate. Thanks, buddy. Thanks very much. Are we allowed to do that? Yep. Oh, is it one of these ones? <laughs> oh, there that. you go. Okay, done. <laughs> Thanks. Now, here's some tips to catching or targeting tilapia. A lightweight spin or overhead combo is perfect. Do not go too heavy. These fish are fun on light tackle. Garden worms, they love them. Also use corn or small grub soft plastics. Now work a waterhole along the east coast where there's a bit of humidity. They love that warm air and look for where the fresh can get into the salt. That's where they're likely to hang. Don't let them go, otherwise you'll get fined. Bag up and place them straight into the bin. 
And of course, thanks for watching Step Outside YouTube channel for lots of cooking and fishing action. Like, subscribe, and of course, comment for more catches like this and cooking recipes.